welcome to my channel. I am a reader and a writer, and this is one of my new release book reviews. And so the book I am talking about today is A Desolation Called Peace by Arcady Martin. This is the second book in her Texalan, Texalan series. I totally butcher that every time I try to say it. Even in my head, I have issues saying that word. But the first, this is the sequel to A Memory Called Peace. And it came out in early March of 2021. So it was my new release read for March. So this was an interesting book because I really enjoyed the first one. I found, I just found out as I was reading it that I really enjoy political science fiction, especially space opera kind of science fiction. And so I was not certain how Martine was going to continue with this series from where, you know, from where it was left off before. Sorry, this is going to be a spoiler free. So I, you know, I'm going to be treading very carefully on what I say. Um, but I, I do think everybody should read the first book, definitely. And I I think if you read the first book, the majority of the people are going to like the second book. But it does take a little bit of a tone turn. At least, I mean, that's how I felt. Um, so for, and, you know, for this book, I gave it a 10 out of 10 for characters. I love them. They, the new characters that were introduced weren't just walk on bits they felt fully formed like they were people who had lives before the situation that they were in coming into the second book and i love that i, I think she nailed the characters so for the atmosphere i gave it a 9 out of 10 and i think it was done really well there were some times where i felt like every the grand scope of the spaceship that they were on, um, the weight of the wheel, just wasn't necessarily coming through. Sometimes it was just like nailed and it's like, oh, this is this ship is as big as a city. And other times I'm like, how long did it take this character to go from this spot to this spot? And so for me, I felt like the atmosphere wasn't perfect. But it was still really good. Now for the writing, I gave a 9 out of 10. Martine's writing is very poetic. But it got to the point where there were enough words that I did not know that I was feeling like I needed to go find a dictionary. And that's not what I want to do when I'm reading a book. I don't want to have to go look up the meaning of words, especially since how this is written, I know that words matter. The actual denotations or definitions matter versus the connotations or what colloquially we say they they mean um the best example of like how words work like this is the word nuts um a definition is it's a food but many times a connotation is you're crazy or at least that's how it works in English. I don't know how it works in other languages if there are similar words like that. It was reading this book that really hit me the importance of the name of the titles. An empire called, or a memory called empire, and a desolation called peace. Again, very poetic language, but very specific me, or like, but both books, those titles, can be taken with various meanings or signifiers. Um, but yeah, so it, it just goes back to emphasize that words matter in this book. And I love the writing. I Every time I picked it up, I knew I was going to, it, it, I knew everything was just going to flow until I got to those points where I'm like, where's my dictionary? What are they actually telling me by these words? And that's where it dropped down a little bit for me. 
Now for plot, I gave it an 8 out of 10. And I think this is where it suffers from second book syndrome. Yeah, so the plot was not to the same level as the first book. Uh, the first book you have the murder mystery and the political intrigue going on. And in this one, you have them going, they're out in the war zone. But it seemed more routine and some of the setup at the beginning, especially like interpersonal conflicts that Mihit had with some characters from her culture, her station, I didn't like how it was set up and I don't feel like the payoff worked at the end of the book with those elements. So thus, I, I did give it a lower score. Now I do think the intrigue with the aliens was still really good and I gave that actually a 9 out of 10. There were some elements that I was like, yeah, I've seen this done before. But there were other elements with the aliens that I'm like, oh, now that's an interesting take on what I've seen before. Which is why I still rated it pretty high, even though I was more familiar with this sort of alien type. And I think one of the plot twists that they were wanting or that the author was wanting to have be more of a surprise, the moment the like the first mention that was set up, I was like, oh, and that's how all this other stuff works. Took a little bit of the the enjoyment of trying to figure out what's going on for the intrigue for me. Now for logic, I was actually surprised. I felt like this one actually was an eight out of 10. How do I do this without spoilers? <laughs> um, so Martine introduced the miscommunication trope in this book, and I don't like that trope. The whole, oh hey, if they sit down and have a conversation in five minutes, it's, it's solved, but they're not talking to one another. Yeah, that's the trope. And so for me, that made me go, well, they didn't do this in the first book or this sort of this trope wasn't in the first book so it's hard for me to believe that it would be now um, I do feel like she was trying to bring in mental health issues especially with PTSD and I don't think she quite pulled it off I, th I think that there could have been a little more depth with both of that for Mahi and Three Seagrass for the enjoyment, just because of their little things, and again, it I was start I was feeling like it was definitely a second book. I don't feel like a desolation called peace could stand as a book by its own. Like somebody could just start the series at that that book. I think they would have to read the first book in order to understand what's going on in the second. And so my enjoyment of it went down a little bit, just slightly though. I mean, it was still a 9 out of 10 because I, I did want to pick up the book. I did want to finish it. And I'm excited that I got to read it in the month it came out. For my overall rating, Compile compiled it into the, for the 5-star rating into 4 stars. It's, very, it's, a, it's a very solid 4 stars, and if the plot or logic had been, I was able to score those higher, it would have made five stars quite easily. So I am interested to see what happens next, especially with how this book ended. This book ends very similar to the first book at a point where it doesn't necessarily have to continue. Like it, it, is, it has a firm stopping point for the series and it's fine if you're just left wondering, well, what happens next? because the story for the plot of the book has been finished. It's just what happens to the characters afterwards. So I'm not, if, if she writes a third book, I will read it. But I don't know if she is gonna write a third book. If that, I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense, but if you have read this book, please talk to me more about it because 
it, it did take me a while from finishing this book to filming this video because I needed more time to think about how I actually felt. So I would love to hear what your comments and thoughts are about A Desolation Called Peace. So again, thank you for watching this video and I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Bye.